every session in New Zealand, he's been stacking on the beach. It's just, I don't know, he just loves jumping close to the beach and... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I never be like them. I mean, it just can't do it because he's, you know. Well, I started out down a dirty road. One, two, one, two. Started out. If we don't have enough height, or we don't have the perfect takeoff, and we're traveling too far forward, doubles don't work. As across the hill. Oh my god, oh, is he alive? I'm gonna. <laughs> the world is still. He's got no fear, this guy, man. <laughs> yeah, it's soft. But I'll try my best, you know. Is the hardest thing with the good old days may not be. Every time you ride a geo, this happens. Every time. But that one was good because you could see it sucking out, and then he knew, and then. <laughs> He landed on his ass so hard. Jetto! Yes, yeah, it's so bumpy. Jetto! How's your ass, mate? Oh, Man, that was such a big crash. Oh, shit. I'm so retarded. <laughs> what happened? You just ran out of water. Yeah, yeah, like, stars, like, what? And I was like, no, no, come back, come back. Well, it was too late. I like, then I couldn't do anything, just like prepare for the, prepare for the like hit. And run. <laughs> like, oh shit. It, but it was, yeah, okay, it's fine. Nice. Wait, That's like, good. All, all the boys, mate, what's going on here? It's so windy it's, now, eh? Yeah, it is. It's gonna rain loads as well, look how fucking wet it is. Oh, is it? Marky boy! Oh, big monkey day. Marky boy! Ah, oh, sick. It's just sick. Just sick, man. Oh. So smooth, man. Fuck. Fuck. So, <laughs> so smooth. He is getting hot for me. Fuck you. Fuck Mark. <laughs> so good. Here comes the rain. <laughs> ah, yeah. You can feel it? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Well, look how windy it is now. <laughs> Too much, mate. Too much for me. What with Jetto's bum and the North sponsorship deal, both equally in tatters, what was needed was a comforting hug from the strong manly arms of Big Marky J. He's just walking around his wits, you like, oh, so bum. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> do you actually think he can do a double loop? Um, Is he good enough to do a double loop? Yep, for sure. Do you? Yep. I think so, yeah. He, look, he, look, what he is, is prepared to crash and prepared to take big crashes. And I think, like all of them said, a lot of it comes down to, a sh for sure there's some skill and technique, but a lot of it comes down to having the balls to pull it at 10 meters and just go for it. Yeah, he, he, he's not a consistently good rider, but he does have good tricks. I've seen him do front, front contra board offs. Um, sometimes you just see him land like a trick and you're like, well, okay, Jetto's pretty good. And then he just stacks it for the rest of the day, so. And I think Jetto is that kind of guy. He, look, he looks up to Mark so much and he just wants to do this. Forget about what he wants to do for us. He wants to do this for Mark. And if he can make Mark proud, He's absolutely happy. I mean, the kid came to New Zealand for kiteboarding and met the man of his dreams, his hero, and now is his best friend. I mean, that's so cool, right? I mean, he's living, actually living his dreams. And if he can, if he can do it for Mark, I think, it's, I think it's incredible. Yes, yes, okay, very heartwarming. Do you know what's definitely a bit stronger than some strange bromance? 40 knots. And especially in Cape Town, I don't care how cute Mark thinks you are or how condescending he is to you the whole time. Hello. 
calling you an Oompa Loompa. Mate, when that 40 knots comes around, Jesso's going to wish he's landed on that beach a bit harder. Do you guys want to get food? What do you want to do? Are you? Wait, you're a bunk Yeah, I was going to come with you guys. Yeah. Look at his post. You're going to get this. Look. Did you lose anything? It's my jumper, my favourite jumper. Yeah. Your favourite jumper? The jacket, <laughs> yeah. I d I'm so shocked that you only lose one item. <laughs> like, because you're losing everything in my car when I put it in. <laughs> Mate, that... That's how it went on the aeroplane. How did they let yeah. you fly like that? Two, it's insane. Two, yeah. How did you not lose anything? They must look at this no, I lost bag and black. I lost what my favourite jumper. <laughs> From there, like, I think it gets But well, why'd you put your favourite jumper in the open bag? It was. And you wore your harness the whole yeah. way on the plane? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> I had to. Um, no, wait, lost place, mate. With the spreader bar hook too? Yeah, everything. And they didn't, everything. didn't think it's a weapon? They always look at me, but it's <laughs> nothing. Dude. Yeah. So what have you got in there? Really, I need, to get, well. I need to get the a trumpet. Yeah, he plays the trumpet now. No way. <laughs> yeah, can you play, get the, out, get play, out. play the trumpet? You go. Where is the trumpet? Please. It's please. like somewhere here. Show us, please. <laughs> oh, oh, I measure he lost his trumpet oh, yeah, and his jumper. Like, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? It's from Japan. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Knowing that his prized Japanese trumpet was tucked up yeah, safe and sound, yeah, he was able to then set off with confidence for the second session of this mission in the back of Big Marky J's car. You've basically got a lot of room to downwind to the crash in the water. So for him to land on the beach, he, if he managed to land on the beach today, he, I don't know what, what he's thinking and what's going on, but it, it is a possibility, but. What's the plan for this session? Yeah, what's the plan, Jeddo? Oh shit, always no plans. My plan's just to get a session on the aid and not hurt myself, because it's gusty. <laughs> what's your plan? Go like Jamie. Go like Jamie. <laughs> That's his plan. That's a good plan, mate. <laughs> yeah, should be... Should be a windy one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's windy. I'll give you the K, oh. mate.
that is why we pay you the big bucks. <laughs> that is why we pay you and Hika 200 euros a week. <laughs> Tell that's a good. How are you feeling? Are you knackered? Are you done? Uh, now, oh, it's Mark done already. Right. Oh, that village looks cool. Yeah? Yeah, well, I was gonna go, but it looks far. <laughs> Shit, fuck. Got that? That, that made the session worthy. Just getting that one clip off, Joe. Oh, we're doing a documentary about. I mean, it's pretty much Kenjiro double loop. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. Nice. Like can like an like a all right level kite server who can do like single loops. How how quickly it can take him to double. But since he's so entertaining, no matter what he does, it's going to be funny, so... Yeah, maybe. Could also just be sad and a bit depressing. Right, so yeah, I, I am aware that this isn't my finest videography work to date, and trust me, it doesn't annoy anyone more than it annoys me that it is this bad. Like, this is particular. This is, I thought I was going to get better as time went on, but I haven't. This <laughs> is the one. <laughs> yeah? Did you find this? Uh, I don't think so. Too yeah, trumpet. I just played like stop thing three months ago. Okay, enough judging questions. Um, let's talk King of the Air. What would be <coughs> what would be a successful result here? What would you be happy with? for me? Um, well, it's hard. obviously two years ago I won it, and obviously I've I've replanned my goals as you do when you finally achieve your goal and. I would like to try to do it again. I would like to win another one. And I know it's not easy. These, uh, Big Air is just so competitive these days. There's like 10 riders that can win it now. Where like, you know, way back there might have been only four, you know. So, yeah, it's just, uh, I would say if I get podium, I'd be happy. Big. Crowd is loving it, and this is the Red Bull King of the Air, where it's all about height and extremity. And J uh, Jamie Overbeek, he's got some, uh, some, yeah, world records to his name, jumping 35 plus meters, and he's got all the tricks in the bag and sticking his first one clean. That will give him some nice confidence. Mark Jacobs has got some unique tricks as well. Uh, he used to do all his tricks coming to the right, but then learned everything switch so he could uh, perform better at the Red Bull King of the Air. So he's one of the most complete riders, and here he is sticking a nice double mega loop. Uh, with the front row, I believe. Here he goes, 
off the wave into a conjure lift. Double front roll, most likely a triple roll. Front roll with a board off as well, and he's just had a bit of a butt check. Double front rotation oh, inverting doobie. on there. That was the, the doobie, doobie, double. Doobie, doobie Booby, I believe it's called. Oh, the Booby Loop is back. When a rider rides away, oh, this yeah, is big though. Back rolls with four triple, four, four, four. Four. tornado. Oh. There's a buff check. He must get so oh. frustrated with it. It sucks. Oh. Oh. Look at the score that has dropped for Mark Jacobs a 7.14 with a strong dominant performance so far over Jamie Overwick. But Jamie's Got not done. Biggie. Flying over the horizon, there clearing the boat. There? Was there a tic-tac there, Ruben? Or did I see things? Last day kick, yes. Come on. If you can get a double loop at the right height, you're gonna win. You're gonna get a ten. And a seven can take you there. Jeez, 20 seconds left. He needs a 7.21. Mark Jacobs. Inverted front rotation, double boogie loop. Oh, and sticking it like, um, oh. Well, I know, I know that water. landing better than anyone. That wow. was the backside block side oh, to the head. He really went for that. Yeah, this is tense. Will Mark Jacobs see himself through to his third semi-final? Will Jamie Overbeck find himself in his second semi-final? We will know now. And Boom. Yes, Jamie Overbeck are taking it. Uh, Jamie Overbeck is taking the win here over Mark Jacobs. He must be devastated. The Is second he? youngest rider in the fleet today, knocking out the second oldest rider in the fleet today. Wow, upsetting for Mark, but uh, a great performance. And we were informed here by our director that the judges had a lot of talk around this heat, so they're not rushing it. It was truly heartbreaking watching our hero, Big Marky J, tumble from the highest heights at King of Air 2023. But what was even harder to accept was the fact that between me and the other four videographers employed that day, every single one of us failed to capture Jetto playing his trumpet on the water's edge for Mark. This is the only footage we have of him at the water's edge, and it was captured by Hika moments after Jamie Overbeek's mother had shouted at Jetto because when he started playing the trumpet, Jamie actually thought that was a starting buzzer for the heat. Once the dust had settled and Mark had got over his short-term identity crisis, okay, it was time, to, as they say, to get back on the wagon, which in our case was a Honda Jazz. Okay, you go in the front, boss. Yeah. And yes, Jetto is already wearing his impact vest underneath his jumper. And no, it's not his favourite jumper that he lost. That one's lost. All right, let's go and get the sixth then. I don't really know why this bit's even in. It's a long episode as it is, but all right. Not much now, but maybe just go for it. Yeah. yeah. And like today is like only day, right? Mark is here. Yeah. I'm here and you're here. Windy. All right, guys, come on. We're literally watching a man, a boy put a kite and a car. I know the video is usually bad, but this is... What's next? A couple of shots of him no, pumping no, up, no. doing his lines. Oh, no, no, no. So we, I'm taking six, because baby shark is on five. Oh, pussy shark. <laughs> oh. Mate, you, do, you need to go six, mate. You're international now, no more five. Yeah, it's dropped a bit. It's in a low period right now. It was 30 earlier, but now it's... More around the 25, 26. 
We'll put on 21 meter lines in the six, and that's that. That should be easy enough. Okay. If he's got the power, if he's got got enough power. And the willpower. <laughs> willpower. Yeah, both power. If it's his first double and he just wants to double for the sake of it, you might as well take a four and he'll do his first go. He'll double. So it depends. Does he want to do a double on the six or a seven, or does he just need to get a double then? Then you just take a really small kite. Get the feeling. Get it off the checklist. You have a five. You don't have a five. I like it. It's a good challenge. It's a proper challenge. And that's oh, yeah. another thing you want to bring the kite up in yeah. the middle. Yeah. Direct it straight up. Don't fly it out in the window and bring no, it up. No. Because with yeah. a six, you'll just drop out. Ooh. You got to keep it in front of you. So then, one, yeah. two on the spot, and then straight up in front of you. <laughs> okay. No, just go for it, man. <laughs> my brain is a bit too small for this. Let's <laughs> go for it. It's too complicated. A bit man. too small. <laughs> okay. Mate, say, just think uh, one, two. One, two, yeah. You already got one. You just go one, two. One, two. <laughs> like one, you two. You can count one, two. Yeah. One, two. Ichi ni in Japanese. Ichi ni, yeah. So Ichi ni. Ichi ni. Ichi ni, yeah. Ichi ni san shi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it was about this time that I started to think it would have been good to organise him some health insurance. Transporting coffins back to Japan is actually pretty expensive. But it was a bit late for that. The nettle was about to be grasped and Jetto was putting up his six metre orbit for his double debut. So just practice jumping, waiting a little bit, like three quarters of the way up, yeah, yeah. then pulling a nice tight loop, not fully in, about three quarters in, and just making a, a pussy loop, like as pussy as possible, quick high single loop. And when you feel it like you're getting it around really high and easy, and you're feeling like you can maybe fit one more, then, then maybe start trying. But just practice getting that single first one right, because that's the key. If you got the first one perfect, then, then the second always works. So just practice high pussy loop. <laughs> I would be surprised if just go straight into it. I like the biggest full send ever. <laughs> That'd be actually so fucking funny. It's quite good with that board though. That board's. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, let's go! I wish I had BB talking. Pussy loop, pussy loop. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's calling me. Hey, mate. I'm just on the beach, mate, just filming with Jetto. Yeah, yeah I'm at the beach. Um, let, let's wait a little bit, because I'm just doing some filming right now. I'm just helping Jetto uh, try a double loop. <laughs> All right. I talk soon. What do you know, mate? Today, mate. Today's the day. See you, mate. He's <laughs> <laughs> such a funny little bugger. <laughs> Everything he does. You want to give me this? It's cold. <laughs> no, but you. I think the problem is not because. Let's go! I think he just wants to send it. He just wants to send it, mate. We'll just let him send it. I think he knows he can do it now, so. He just needs to go bigger, more commitment. Good kicker. Five. Nah, I think the waves will get a bit bigger and cleaner. Nah, this is five. Oh, you gotta do it. <laughs> this is five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I don't know, it's just like there's so many things that even though you seem like you're falling, yeah. there's so many things that you can actually do in the sky. Get out!